New details this morning on the Chinese spy balloon shot down over the weekend. The State Department says the balloon was capable of conducting signals intelligence, and that refers to things like electronic communications and radar. So David Tafuri joins us uh, now as the FBI evaluates recovered pieces of the balloon. He's a former foreign policy advisor to the Obama campaign. Good morning, and thank you for joining us. Good morning. So what sort of communications would be of interest to China? Well, who knows? They certainly are trying to collect military intelligence, likely uh, trying to collect uh, intelligence about how our um, defense operations uh, operate in the United States, perhaps collecting uh, intelligence about uh, missile silos and other um, areas that the Air Force has and other uh, aspects of the military branches have. Uh, but we don't yet, we haven't actually been able to access what they collected because my understanding is some of the devices and the equipment that were uh, attached to the balloon have not been recovered yet. But you can guarantee that the U.S. Navy, and uh, you see pictures there, are working hard to try to recover everything that they can. They're going to analyze it, and perhaps this will actually be a benefit to the U.S. and to U.S. intelligence, but we'll understand what China was interested in, and, and we can try to make guesses as to why they were interested in that. So you mentioned military communications. Is there any reason that uh, the run-of-the-mill American citizen like you or I needs to worry about uh, what was collected or... You know, our, our private phone conversations, text conversations. Do you think the Chinese have any interest in that? Uh, who knows? You know, I don't want to speculate about what they would or would not do. They certainly um, are keenly interested in collecting as much information as they can about America, about Americans. Uh, they view us as an adversary. Uh, this had sophisticated collections equipment and uh, antennas on it. So I don't we don't know yet whether they were trying to do that, but my guess is they were more interested in, uh, in military operations by the United States. That would make a lot more sense, I understand. Now, you advise the Obama administration. Uh, it seems like this has caused some diplomatic issues. I know Secretary Blinken has canceled a trip that he was going to make to China. Uh, what would you be advising the uh, Biden administration now on relations with China and how to move forward? The tensions and the dispute over this balloon will pass, and we will get past them. But what the balloon represents to me is the simmering dispute between the U.S. and China, which doesn't always come to the forefront. It's not always public, but it is there. And there's a, you know, a growing adversarial relationship between our two countries. The purpose of Secretary Blinken's visit was to try to iron some of those issues out, to try to compromise on things, to try and find ways in which uh, we have uh, unified interests. And the fact that uh, Secretary Blinken had to cancel his trip, and it was appropriate for him to cancel it because it was going to happen right after this balloon incident, sets that back and sets the ability of us to try to work some of these things out diplomatically between our countries back. But I, my guess is uh, there will be a resumption of discussions between our two countries after this balloon incident blows over. But we still have very significant uh, differences between us. Uh, the U.S. is very upset and has a right to be about China's human rights record. We're upset about its economic practices, that it doesn't uh, obey uh, intellectual property laws. It often steals uh, our secrets, and a balloon is, a, you know, an, an indication of, of, of how it tries to do that. Both it tries to steal, steal economic secrets and military secrets, and these are all issues that are going to continue, but hopefully there will be another visit in the future, and we can uh, make some progress in uh, fixing some of these issues. It'll blow over. I feel like I did that on purpose. Uh, it's David Deferry. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.